everyone in Floss Tube. Welcome to our channel, The Sun City Stitchers. I'm Carlene. And I'm Marlene. And we normally are in El Paso because that's where our home is. However, right now um, we are in Missouri at our mother's home. Um, she is no longer with us, but we still come down to her home. And so we had a busy day today. Yes. Um, we decided that the deck and the front porch needed to be power washed. Power washed and restained. And restained. So Marlene and our older sister Linda sanded um, some of the wood yes. and some of the railings. Some of the areas and, that were really yeah, rough. Yeah, really um, rough. And my husband and I ran the power washer, so I am absolutely wiped out. <laughs> it's really hot here, so it was not the best of times to do no. it. But at the same time, um, when we do it when it's warm like this, then the wood dries yeah, better dries than, if yeah, yeah. than if it's yeah than if it's rainy, and especially yeah. because we want to stain it. So yes. and so we'll be working on the staining tomorrow, starting tomorrow, with and the front then porch. And then Sunday, probably the other the back larger deck, deck, the larger mm -hmm. back deck, the, lo well. the back deck. So um, we have our work cut out for us, but we're yes. still managing to find time for cross stitching, yes. which is super yes. important, yes. of course. So to begin with, um, I want just to show you uh, something, a very new um, and exciting announcement that mm -hmm. was just made um, this week, maybe the end of last week. Um, there is a collaboration uh, project that is being done by uh, Nancy Waller of FaithWorks and Sue Hillis. Mm -hmm. um, Sue Hillis did a design that is a shadow box mm -hmm. and then Nancy designed collaboration pieces that went along like with smalls. it, smalls. Yes, smalls. And so uh -huh. we are going to post a picture of that here in the video and then in the description, you will find a link to a form that if you are interested and you want um, to be a part of it, you have a form that you will fill out that will go directly to Nancy um, because she's the one that's kidding everything up and will be invoicing you for um, prices and that kind of thing. Um, so we're very excited yes, to share it with really, you. it's really, really cute. It is so done. pretty and yes, so cute. Yes. That um, anyway, a really great so design. It's we just will, wonderful. We'll share that now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we wanted to share that exciting announcement. We hope you all plan on joining us. I know um, that Nancy had mentioned setting up an exclusive um, Sal stitch along yeah. uh, mm -hmm. for only those people that have purchased uh, the, the project. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, looking forward to that. Yes, um, yes, I'm very and that won't start that. until later on in the summer. I believe it's going to be... August? August or September. Yeah. Um, I think she's going to start shipping. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm not sure, but... Um, I'm not sure exactly yeah. on the exact dates of when she... Yeah, but, um, it's but it's exciting. Yes, it's very, it's very exciting. exciting. And the project mm -hmm. is just... it. The colors are stunning. Yes. And the pieces mm -hmm. are, are so, so precious. So yes. very excited yes. about that. Yes. Um, so I know Marlene, you have looked at your projects that you do for your bingo board yes. and you mm -hmm. have set some goals. So tell yes. us about that. Okay. Well, the first project I drew was the ABC, ABC sampler from Little House Needleworks. And, um, I'm doing these as the individual pillows rather than on a large piece of fabric. So I have, um, the ABC, the first one started. So I'm working on that and I'm hoping to complete this one. What do you have left on this? It looks almost um, done. I have Just... to put the green leaves and a orange leaf here on these oh, corner okay. ones. And then some little acorns go here and then there's just a single line border that now, goes around. You know what, on this pillow, it doesn't look like the border is there. Oh no, it doesn't. 
So I don't think oh, you maybe. need to do the border. Oh, that would only yes. be if, if you, you were going to do it as one piece. piece. Yes, that's true. I hadn't noticed that. Yay. Yeah, yay. Yes. So and I'm then almost we want, done then. We want to get a button maker, right? So that yes. I can make little mm -hmm. coordinating buttons yeah. to put on the pillows. Yeah, I think that would be so cute. I do too. And then the, I really and then I want to get one more done, oh, which is the DE. You're even closer to finish yes. than you thought. The DE. These houses are just so sweet. I know they are. I just love them. And then this is how much I have done on that one. So, wow, you have a lot done. So yeah. you probably will so get this I one all finished too. Yeah, I'm hoping to get those two finished. So wouldn't it be great if I could stay caught up with the finishing of them as pillows <laughs> yes. too so I didn't have a hundred to do at anyway, the end? That's, that's what I have um, for my first um bingo board and that what were your other projects um, that you then did the next coming one up? the coming up ones the first one is or the next one the second one will be autumn hydrangea fog i haven't really set a goal for that one yet but that's just one coming up yeah. later in july yeah. mm -hmm. and then the last one that i drew was the lighthouse garden and again i haven't set a goal for that one yet so those are the two that you'll be yes. working on mm -hmm. as well as your christmas in july christmas projects. in july and hopefully some of my sows okay we'll see well i i belong to the challenge group the magical stitches group and so every month they have um uh, what I call extra credit, but really they, they, it's called, the event is called a stitching retreat because it's like we've gone on a stitching retreat at a big like hotel. And do they call it, um, that's the yearly challenge? No, it's no, monthly. Oh, mm -hmm. it's oh. monthly. Oh, okay. So the, the yearly challenge was visiting the cross stitch shops oh, in the okay. States. Oh, and okay. I have not done anything on that for a while now. Hopefully this month I'll get to. Um, so the, the, the two, um, the two, there are two parts to that uh, stitching retreat challenge. Um, and that was, that was one was a place, a fun, a place to go that would be a fun family activity. So I chose to do my fall on the farm project mm -hmm, because yes. I think visiting a farm in the fall would be a very fun There's thing. There's lots of activities to do Yes, there, you can go sure. to the pumpkin patch, you can pick apples, you could go for a hayride. So this is what I have done. I, um, that's so when I cute. started the, the monthly, like. I had not done anything in this box. Oh, so so I got then. all of this done and mm -hmm. that was 1,015 stitches because wow. I set my goal that I wanted to do, um, I want I wanted 1,000 stitches. And now I've added a little more on the truck, a little more on the truck and a little bit up here on the trees. I have two more trees and a sun in this corner and this box oh, will be done. Apple tree so, is so cute. Yes, it is. So that was the first... Um, kind of extra credit and the second one is that i the swimming pool doesn't have water it needs water in, in the pretend little stitching retreat where mm -hmm. we're going so we are the challenge was to work on a project that had water so i too i'm going to be working on the lighthouse like garden. garden later on in the month um because there's water here in the back background and then the okay. other thing in my stitching gr challenge group is um weekly events and this month because it's july and it's a vacation month they did it a little differently and they just gave us eight words um most of them are characters in the series of books that we're reading mm -hmm. but some of them are are like embroidered the word embroidery, embroidery? the word cross, cross stitch. stitch and so they're doing mystery. what they call mystery they're doing what um they called a spell out and so for each letter in the word, we need to find either the first word in the name of a cross-stitch project, um, the first or the last name of the um, designer, mm -hmm. um, or an object in the cross-stitch piece. So for example, um, the first name on my list was Marcy, which is the main character in the book's series of books that we're reading this so year. So you're also using Fall on the Farm? I'm for using things? Fall on the Farm for the first three words, Marcy, Ted, and Reggie. Um, and so 
I could find objects in all of the, those that um, I could use. So, you know, like Marcy starts with M. So um, this box here has um, a milk cow and I don't actually have to stitch on the object. It just has to be present in the design somewhere. Okay. So milk cow and then A I did apple tree and um, R I did I don't know, rail roof fence. or rail fence yeah. or anyway, so you just look for an object or, and so um, those will be my weekly events. So I'm going to be doing for the first three names, I'm going to be doing fall on the farm. So I will get that this box, this block, this block will get all finished. And then I'm moving on to this, which is the quilt, uh, like a quilt square. Oh, okay. And wow. then, yeah, You're gonna and get then a lot done I am going to get a lot done. That's and good. then um, the next couple of words like embroidery, I'm going to be using um, Lizzie Kate's Christmas, Christmas is forever, mainly because I is hard and there's snowflakes down here. So I just call them ice crystals. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I can use that for the eye on several mm -hmm. words. I can, I just have to do another, I, I do a hundred stitches for each letter okay. in the person's name. So anyway, or Did the you word. Did show how much you had done? No, but I think I showed this last time. Oh, maybe so. Yes. Yeah. So that, that I'll be working on that for after I do the, what I can on fall on the farm. So oh, that's good. Yes. So yes. that's what I have coming up. Yes. Um, anything else? Yeah, that was something else we had talked about. But... Okay. Well, then, I think, I think short and sweet. This short week. and sweet this <laughs> week. So, from us, Sun City Stitchers, remember that a day without laughter is like a day without sunshine. So wherever you are, bring your own sunshine and keep on stitching. We'll see you next Friday. Bye, everybody.